<clears throat> good morning to you all. Good afternoon, good evening, good night, whenever you may be watching this. So I'm going to do this and try this again for a breakout from the prison planet. I'm going to try this one more time horizontal, okay? Just to appease you. <laughs> Since you don't like the way I record vertical. But anyway, I did look at some of my videos and it is kind of annoying to have that little stuff on the side. And, you know, I'm always trying to improve. So thank you, sir, for that suggestion. However, you know, I'm a work in progress. I am a little bit older. So, you know, more set in my ways. <laughs> oh, goodness. So this morning, uh, and I'm going to do several videos today as normal, as usual, per, per the usual. But I was thinking about, um, I was thinking about what are we doing now? to get our health, our mentality right, um, prior to SHTF, Tiawaki, WROL, grid down situation, and um, all of the above. But before I get started, I wanted to show you guys something, something I'm very proud of, something I've been working on, and hopefully, because I'm really big on growing your own food, okay? Now y'all see all these jars lined up here. Some of them are mason jars that we normally ju juice, out, juice and drink out of. But if you notice, organic pickles, uh, salsa jars, pickle jars. I guess that's all we eat right here is pickles and salsa. But I just wanted to show you guys. This is my indoor vertical um, garden for my avocados. Okay, These are all avocado seeds. And I'll try, try, hopefully you guys can see them. I'll take you through the stages. So when you first put an avocado in some water, you need to have two picks. Okay, and I, I've been using two two picks. They seem to work pretty okay. Uh, and you'll see it start to root at the bottom, and then sometimes you'll get several roots or a few roots, and then eventually, okay. Now this one didn't do several roots. It just did one big root. Eventually, it'll start getting longer, and then the top will poke out. And bam, now you have an avocado plant. Isn't that amazing? So that's, that's just something I wanted to show you there. And then eventually, it will keep growing, okay? And it will be, it will start getting bigger. All right, that one needs a little, little more water in it. And then, I'm gonna show you all these two together. So these are all different stages. So you see, uh, this one's a little bit shorter than that one, okay? And then I have some outside that I've planted in, uh, in some or good organic soil. So that's my, um, that's my two cents about growing avocados because I love avocados. It's a superfood. It's a, a good fat, as they say. And uh, we eat avocados when we're eating all the time. Y'all don't, don't look at my messy kitchen. Um, I am going to clean it up before I go to work today. But I, I'm getting up doing juice uh, as normal and I wanted to talk this morning well I hate I hate putting time frames on my videos I wanted to talk uh, and I'm sorry about all the movement about getting yourself right mentally and medically or yeah I guess that's right mentally and medically prior to grid down situation um, there if and when and God forbid I hope it never happens if we ever have a grid down Tiawaki situation, and for those that don't know what Tiawaki means, that's the end of the world as we know it. That's Tiawaki. Um, if we ever have a situation like that, that is going to be the most stressful situation that any of us, any of us ever go through. OK, you think you're stressed out now not having any money. Imagine not having any. Well, imagine having some money and you can't buy nothing. Imagine people trying to rob your resources. Imagine people coming to take your life for a bottle of water. That's why you know I recommend all the time you guys watch that American um, Blackout. And I'm going to actually tag it this time on my channel. I found it yesterday. And I didn't realize that there were several of them in the same title. So I'm going to tag uh, that video in, in, this, uh, in this video after I get finished. I wish there was a way I could download it and then just post it on my channel. I don't know if that's like copyright infringement or 
whatever. You guys can help me with that. That know you know that know about that subject. Is there a way to do it? Is there a way to take a YouTube video and download it and make it your own? Which I don't really want to. I don't want to you know steal from National Geographic. I just want to. Um, I want it ready and available on my channel. So if anybody knows that answer, would you please please comment and let me know. Also, remember while I'm thinking about it, uh, remember I want to do a giveaway once we get to 100 subscribers. So if you guys can help me share and spread the room, uh, news about my channel, I really appreciate that. And I would do a special video shouting you out. Y'all know that, right? <laughs> but anyway, I want to talk um, real briefly about getting yourself mentally ready uh, and getting your health right. Because as you guys know, I'm plant-based. Um, it's not easy. I will tell you that it's it's much. I feel much better than I did when I was eating meat and dairy. Uh, but it's a challenge, you know. It's a challenge doing something and doing things that other people think is the abnormal. Okay, we as humans, we should be eating a plant-based diet anyway. Uh, if you want to know how you should be eating, look at your teeth. Your teeth tell it all. Uh, a lion and a tiger, they have huge canines. That's so they can kill and they have claws and so they can kill and rip their meat. Well, rip their food and uh, and basically just, you know, chew it and swallow it. They don't even chew it that, that much. They have shorter intestines because they have shorter intestines. They can process their food much faster. We as humans. And I hope I'm quoting this right. We have I think it's 18 feet of is it small intestine or large intestines? One of them is 18 feet long and the other one's like three feet long. So you got 21 feet of intestines to go through for your food to process. Whenever you're eating meat and dairy, that stuff gets clogged up in your system. That's why a lot of us have digestive problems. That's why a lot of us have blood pressure challenges. Uh, we have high cholesterol because we're backed up. You know, we are literally full of S. I'm not going to say the words anymore because I found out that if you curse on your YouTube channel, YouTube tends to flag your channel because you're using profanity. So for my folks that are following, and that's, you know, that's if you only want to grow mediocre. Uh, I want to grow huge. So I'm trying to follow YouTube's um, guidelines. That's, that's the right word. And I'll drop a little bomb every now and then. I'm going to try not to. But uh, we are all full of S or poop, caca. Um, and I found that out the hard way because when I did my second 21 day cleanse uh, from day and, I, and, I, and I'm, I'm going around about way to tell you guys to get your health right now. Uh, when I did my second 21 day water fast this year from day five to day 20, I was in complete agony. Didn't know why my stomach felt like I was and I don't want to I don't want you guys to. I don't want to offend the women at all on this on that are watching me on this channel. And if, if this is offensive, then I apologize ahead of time. But I equated it. Um, and my wife was, you know, my wife was watching me the whole time. She like it's almost like you're going through a menstrual cycle. But I did it for 20 days. Well, 15 days. So, ladies, if if that's what it feels like for you guys to go through your menstrual. O M G exclamation point to the 25th power. I feel for you, ladies. Um, because my stomach was just, it was in agony. I mean, just tremendous agony. I felt like I needed to go poop. I couldn't. I felt like I needed to throw up. I couldn't. I felt like I was just sick to my stomach and there was nothing I could do about it. The only relief that I got, I did a series of enemas on myself. And I, I strongly encourage people to start doing colonics and enemas. Um, if you want more information, you know, go join my group. Fast and weight loss that info and we, we talk about it over there, but it took me three days and I want you guys to look this up. Look up mucoid plaque and do some research on mucoid plaque. That's going to bless you because if you have any kind of health issues and challenges right now, it's probably because you have a backed up lymph system. Lymph system okay, we got two we got two major fluids in our body. We have blood and we have the lymphatic system. The blood carries everything, carries oxygen, carries nutrients, carries food, blah, 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 blah. And the lymphatic system or the lymph system gets everything out. 
it eliminates everything. It almost is like if you're living in a city and you guys don't have trash collection every week, how much trash would back up in your city? How, how, how much disease, dis-ease, and remember, disease is only the body not at ease, okay? How much dis-ease would start to running rampant in the city? Your body's the same way. Your body's the exact same way. If you don't eliminate, and for people, especially women, who don't go to the bathroom and do number two every day, every other day, you're backed up. Because when you eat, you should be going to the bathroom, you know, six to six to 10, 12 hours at the latest after you eat something. You should be eliminating. You should be getting it out. And if that's not happening, you got a problem and you don't even realize it. So I said all that to say this. Um, that's just some little background. Get yourself together now so you don't have to. You know, I, I learned in the military, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. That's powerful. If you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. So start really working on your mind right now. Start becoming a mentally strong person. Um, start becoming the, the, the leader that you I know you are. See, I train leaders. You know, that's one thing my mentor taught me. He's like, I train leaders. Because if you if you get to the point where you're training leaders, then the followers that you have are all leaders. That means they have their own following. I'm telling y'all some powerful stuff this morning. So get get yourself right mentally and physically. And the way you're going to do that is you're going to start changing your diet. OK, you got to you have got to change your diet now, because if you don't change your diet now and you're forced to change, think about all the stress that we're going to be under. Everybody is going to be under after the collapse, after SHTF. How much stress will everybody be under? That is the wrong time to be changing your diet then. So, and I always try to give you guys scenarios. And I, and, and I didn't tell you guys this, but I am an, an author. Uh, I have two books out right now, two bestsellers out. Uh, and I am in the process of writing a book about my journey on this, you know, to this plant based lifestyle. And I actually have about five books I need to publish and, and release. I just haven't done it because this plant based lifestyle hit me in January and knocked me off my focus of my writing career, which is fine. You know, once you got the books, all you got to do is edit them and release them. It's no big deal. I mean, a lot of people think that writing is puts you on some other level. Only time you get on another level is if you sell a million copies. You get them, you sell a million copies, then you're on another level. <laughs> but if you truly, if you sell ten thousand, you're part of New York Times bestsellers uh, list. Anyway, I digress. The way you can start getting yourself together mentally is doing what you're doing. Okay, keep watching YouTubers and channels that challenge, you know, challenge you uh, mentally, and get you to the point where you're thinking about your future you know and that's really all me being mentally strong is it's just thinking you have to become a philosopher you have to if you don't you're gonna be in trouble i mean that's just the bottom line if you are going through life and you're not thinking about your next step fortunately for me i'm thinking about my next you know five ten steps it's like you know i'm very very motivated right now of getting my family completely out of debt. We will be completely out of debt by the end of the year. And this is August. We got a lot of debt, y'all. But I am so motivated. See, once, once, you, once you get yourself to the point where once you put your mind to it and you're the kind of person that you develop your mindset where no matter what, you're going to accomplish that particular goal, it doesn't matter what's thrown in front of you. I have challenges just like the next person. As a matter of fact, I probably have a few more because I put my foot in my, 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 my mouth so much and I cause a lot of stress on myself. But I like that because I perform well under stress, you know. So get yourself to the point where you, sir, you, ma'am, are mentally tough. OK, I don't want you to be a mental wimp, wimp any longer. If you have physical ailments, if you have hypertension, high cholesterol, you can you can you can do something about that. OK, you have not been sentenced to uh, death via 
Lipitor. You have not been sentenced to death via, I'm trying to think of that crap, I, all that crap I used to take. Um, anyway, it was so many, I can't, I can't even remember now. I know Lipitor is really big right now. Um, but you, you, you don't have to sentence yourself or you don't have to accept the death sentence of medication for the rest of your life. You can control your diet. And if you show me your diet, I'll show you your deity, which is your God, because most of us are controlled by our stomach. I want to give you the permission to take control back. I want to give you the permission that you can do it. I want to give you permission to start eating more raw, eating more plant based and eating raw plant based is the way. OK, I don't care what anybody says. Uh, and from this point on, I want you to be eating minimum 50 percent raw and 50 percent cooked plant based. Nothing else. OK, no meats. I say no dairy every now and then I'll slip up. But after after what, the way I ate this past weekend, I don't think I'll be eating pizza anymore. Because see, once you eat and you get clean, once you eat clean for a while, your body then recognizes when you put foreign entities in your body. For example, like, um, and I, I even, oh my God, I'm almost embarrassed to admit this. We ordered Papa John's pizza. Hadn't had that in eight months. It used to be my favorite. Hadn't had that in eight months. I said, well, we're going to do a cleanse this week. When I say cleanse, that means fast. I like, we're going to be doing a fast this week. So, you know, I'll be able to fast that stuff out my system, blah, 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 blah. Y'all, I ate that mess and it gave me an instant freaking headache. I'm talking about instant headache. And that's one sign that you know that you're eating bad food. If you eat something and you get an instant headache, don't ever eat that again. That's your body saying, hey, probably shouldn't eat that. Number two, if you eat something and you feel lethargic, don't eat that again. OK. Number three. And this is for my uh, this is for my black audience. If you eat something and you get the itis, y'all know what I'm talking about. That means you get sleepy right after. Then guess what? Don't eat that again. That is your body saying, hey, stuff is not good for us. So if you get a headache after you eat, if you get tired, and lethargic after you eat, you get the itis after you eat. That's the same thing. Um, don't eat that again. That's crap. Don't eat that crap anymore. That is the first step of taking your health back. Um, and I saw my man, he, uh, he did a video with his shirt off. I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I want to do it. No, nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> oh goodness. Um, but this is a journey. And when you're going through the journey, um, remember that it is a journey. It's a journey for prepper, prepperism. It's a journey for your health. It's a journey to better finances. Everything is a journey treated as such. You're going to have some. You're going to have some crossroads. You're going to choose the wrong path. You're going to go up some hills. You're going to go down some valleys. It's a journey. OK, treat it as such. It's never a destination. You will never arrive. You will never be prepped enough. You'll never be healthy enough. You'll never be rich enough. You'll never be financially successful enough. And you'll, it'll never happen. It is a journey. And as long as you understand it's a journey and I'm constantly making progress, you're going to be fine. As always, thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys, and I love you immensely, and I love you enough to tell you the truth. Y'all be blessed. Have a great day.